same hat, different shirt. Did I record these on the same day? <laughs> you, why are you asking questions? Sit down. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited to show you guys the top five ways you can make your VFX look more real. Whether you're working on films, games, or just some cool projects on the side, these tips will take your visuals to the next level. So, let's get into it. First up, we have directional lighting. Now, this is crucial for casting shadows and creating contrast in your scenes. Without good lighting, everything is gonna look flat and lifeless. Just like my soul, I feel nothing. Anyway, directional lighting helps to emphasize the shape and form of your objects, giving them a more dynamic and realistic appearance. You can adjust the angles and intensity of the lights in your scene to create different moods and effects. It's all about finding that perfect balance to highlight the important stuff and hide the bad stuff. Next up, let's talk surface imperfections. Adding scratches, dust, and wear and tear gives a history to your objects in your scene. And aging your objects down this way just makes them seem more real to viewers. Perfect surfaces, they look artificial. When you add imperfections, it creates a variety in how the light interacts with the different surfaces, making it look more natural. Also, small details like like this, they can tell a story about that specific object. How long has it existed? Where's it been? Why are we still here? Why am I still alive? It's a subtle but powerful way that you can enhance realism. Moving on, we're gonna talk about the lenses of your cameras that you are using in your scenes. Typically, higher millimeter lenses, like 85, 105, even 200, compress everything in the field of view into more of a single picture. It makes everything feel like it's part of one shot. Now, on the flip side, lower millimeter lenses, like maybe 15, 35, stuff like that, typical ones we see on a lot of day-to-day -day cameras, these are great for wide shots of your environment where you're trying to show as much as possible and really show the depth of the world. That's where that can be key. And the reason I'm saying this is because it's all about picking the right lens for the scene. Understanding how different millimeter lenses can affect your shot can really speed up your creative process and allow you to really enhance the emotions and look that you're going for shot by shot whether it's an intimate close-up or a grand landscape. Next up, lens flares and lens dirt or scratches, imperfections. These effects make your camera feel like a real camera because the way that the light is passing through the lens is realistic to how a real camera would. The problem with a lot of vanilla cameras in all these different softwares like Blender, like Unreal Engine 5, is they're perfect, but that's not what you want. You don't want a perfect camera. Cameras aren't perfect nothing in the world is perfect there's imperfections and you need to recreate those in the way that light passes through the lens of your camera i just spat all over the place i am disgusted when you're pursuing photorealism stuff like this as small as it might seem does all the difference so you can add subtle lens flares subtle specular highlights of dirt on the lens and this stuff can just elevate your shot to another level it can go from looking like a video game to real life that's as dramatic as it can be so don't underestimate the power of a lens flare or lens dirt slash scratches but don't overplay it because then your audience is just going to be staring at the lens flares and the dirt and the they're not gonna be looking at this giant robot that's coming at them on the screen. Come on. None of us are Michael Bay here. Michael Bay is the only one that can spam lens flares. If your name is not Michael Bay, use lens flares and lens dirt tastefully. Finally, let's talk about volumetric fog. Volumetric fog is really good at adding depth to your scenes and helping the audience understand how far away something is from the camera or how close something is to the camera. It enhances your atmosphere and makes it feel far more three-dimensional and like an actual world that has got depth and can be explored. And you can control the density, color, and the fall-off of the fog to match whatever it is that you need for 
your specific shots. It's a great tool for adding a sense of scale and realism. And there you have it, five useful tips that will take your visual effects shots to the next level and make your project stand out. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, maybe leave a comment, let me know which parts of this video were most useful to you. Please consider subscribing as well. I'm really upping my content output now because we're now at over 1600 subscribers, which is just insane. I don't know why you're all here. I'm, I'm a bit of a loser, but hey, here we go. Um, we're winging it, we're winging it, it's fine. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing, maybe consider hitting that bell so you're notified every time. I'm gonna be trying to upload at least one video every week and also still making short films as well and releasing those whenever I finish them. But I wanna fill in the gaps essentially. So yeah, just giving this a whirl. It's probably all gonna come crashing down. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And until next time, in a bit lads. Yeah.